let's have a look into the hydrogen fuel cell reactions and get into its thermodynamics. Here, his is the anode side. And this is the cathode side of a hydrogen fuel cell. This is the proton exchange membrane PEM, which separates the anode and cathode sides. And here are the catalyst layers. Hydrogen is fed into the anode flow channel. OK, now see the anode half reaction. Catalyst in the anode splits the hydrogen into two moles of protons and electrons. This is the anode half reaction. As the name implies, the PEM allows the protons to travel through it and reaches the cathode catalyst layer. But it never allow the electrons. Electrons, from the anode side, travels through an external circuit, creating an electrical current. As we know, flow of electrons is electrical current. Thus, the electrons reaches the cathode catalyst layer. Let's go to the cathode side half reaction. Oxygen fed at the cathode flow channel, now reacts with the available protons and electrons, and ends up with a product of H2O. As the only emission from the fuel cell is pure water, it's a clean energy conversion device. Now, these two half reactions gives a overall reaction. As the reaction is exothermic, it releases heat. Here comes our thermodynamics. How much heat can we get out of this chemical reaction? Or in other words, what is the amount of heat energy released by this reaction? Yeah, that's the enthalpy of this reaction. Probably you would ask, how do I calculate the enthalpy of reaction? It's just the difference between the enthalpy of formation of products and reactats. Please, don't confuse the terms enthalpy of reaction and enthalpy of formation. In our reaction, H2O is the product. H2 and O2 are the reactats. Hence, enthalpy of the reaction is equal to enthalpy of formation of H2O minus enthalpy of formation of H2 minus enthalpy of formation of O2. Now, surely you will ask, how do I know the enthalpy of formation of H2O, H2 and O2? For that, we use the thermodynamic lookup tables. At atmospheric temperature and pressure, enthalpy of formation of hydrogen, oxygen and water are listed here. Actually, it's the enthalpy change when the substance is formed from the most stable form of its elements. As, hydrogen and oxygen are stable themselves in its state H2 and O2, it's zero for them. The negative sign here, represents that the heat is being released. Ok, now substitute the enthalpy values in our previous equation. We get 286 kilojoules per mole of hydrogen as heat. This is the hydrogen's heating value. I mean, this is the maximum amount of energy can be taken from hydrogen. But, second law of thermodynamics states that only a portion of the energy is usable. That skips free energy del G. Here. Del H is the 286 kJ per mole. Del S is the entropy of reaction which has to be calculated using the same lookup table. Now, the Gibbs free energy is the available output energy from a fuel cell. As we all know, efficiency of the cell is the ratio between the output energy and input energy. Yes. Here we get 83% as efficiency of a fuel cell, which is greater than the efficiency of a heat engine. Hence it is an efficient energy conversion device. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.